How's it going guys? This is Russ with Joe's Gaming and Electronics here with another highly requested video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to replace the main board on a Bose Sound Sport Free. This will be the right side, but this will also be equivalent to the one on the left side. They're pretty much the same thing on each side, same process, same board placement. So let's get started. Grab a flat, flat headed screwdriver. Go ahead and get your heat gun. I usually set it up about 200 degrees Celsius. The blade, the board is located underneath the cover. So what we're doing is we're heating up the cover because there's a lot of glue that's underneath it that needs that needs to be soft in order for the cover to pop off. So that's what we're doing here. It's very easy to damage them while you start prying up. So I usually just start from the corner. This since it goes in like that, I usually start from the bottom. And I usually just go in there, and I feel like I'm in I'm in the crease. So then, once I'm in the crease, I just go in there, pry from both sides, but make sure to just stay in one area because you will see a little dent, but that dent will come out because when you use heat at the end, it should it should come out with no problem. So what we do is just go around, pop the cover off like that come right out so if you did damage this a little bit just apply some heat you should come right out there you go so we just set that part aside next there will be actually next let's just start taking off the glue in order to remove the board you got to take apart the glue should just come off really nice and easy. Just make sure you have it all off just so it makes the process a lot easier for you. Next, you will see the pins. There will be these plastic pins that hold down the board. So what I usually do is heat it up. And then I just grab a flathead and I just make the pin a little smaller. I just try taking off the top so there's still some left so I can, when I place the board down, I can melt it back. So next you just pull apart the ribbon and then what you do after that is once you have the ribbon up you start from the bottom side you just pry your way up slowly until the board just comes out with the battery but if it starts prying up really hard what you got to do is go all the way down and pry the battery up so you don't break the terminal because the battery is soldered onto the board so you got to be very careful with that so that off. Let's go ahead in the meantime just this alligator clip. Go ahead and add some flux. I'm gonna pull, pull apart the speaker wires. Okay, we'll set the housing aside. Next, what we want to do is we want to unsolder the actual points from the battery because we're replacing the main board. I 
alligator clips really do help. So in the meantime, we can go ahead and heat up underneath the battery. I usually use something to hold, hold it in place because it gets pretty hot with your fingers there. And then we go ahead and pry right up. As long as you have a screwdriver in there, it's, it's good. And now once you have the screwdriver in there, take some flux and start applying some heat while you're gonna be pushing down on the table. So, once you're pushing down on the table, pop right off. So, see we didn't break the terminal to the actual board. So, the board is in, is in good condition. There's the battery, set the battery aside. So we're gonna grab a new main board. And the negative side is the one, is the smaller side of the battery, just in case you don't know. And it's the, ter it's the point where it meets up with the board. So first I just go ahead and start off and solder the bottom piece on first. soldered on. Go, and go ahead and solder on the positive side. Alligator clips. It really helps to get all these tools before you start the repair just just so you don't mess up so when you buy the part you can just replace it real quick and not have any issues. And add the speaker wires. All right. Speaker wires have been added. They can just be pushed into the side. So what I like to do before I put it in, before I put the board in is I like to see these pins match up to the charging pins in there. So they have to be right aligned because if you push down and they're not aligned, it can cause a break. So that looks like it's aligned. So I can go ahead. And apply pressure now. So the board is now in. And also, since we were talking about that little groove, that dent, while we were taking it apart, just take some heat, just add some heat. Not a lot. There you go. Back to normal. Now we ne we do next. And all we do next is take some T8000, which you can purchase on our website. It's a really awesome glue. Go ahead and work your way around. Don't add up too much glue, just enough to, to have it secured. Go ahead and place the cover back on. And now I have some saran wrap that I will be using in order to actually secure it together so it doesn't fall fall out. It helps it helps it being forced down so it doesn't have an issue of popping off in the future. And you can just let it dry for about just to make it to make it 
perfect about a day to dry and then you can definitely use the headphones once again and that is how you replace the main board on a Bose SoundSport free thanks for watching guys bye bye